It's been a wonderful season at Inca Race in 2012, and we sign off in style throughout November with some of the biggest and best events of the year. The month opens at Birmingham with the finals of the iFactor Fast and the Furious race series. Six new champions will be crowned in the third year of this successful series of meetings for the budget races of the Ovals. Who will be the overall champion at the end of the night and join previous winners Nathan Etheridge and Mark Tuby on the list? The following day, Hensford rounds off its season in incredible fashion with a very special fireworks spectacular. The Incarais Bangers contest the Man of the Midlands Championship with one of the biggest grids of the season assured. Will Scott Hill make it three titles in a row, or will the likes of the Davies family and Scott's Scrapyard Screamer teammates be able to stop him? The National Hot Rods return to their spiritual home as they reach the halfway point of what is proving their most open and unpredictable season for many years, while the Mini Stocks contest the annual Jack Card No Memorial race with Ryan Polly starting as favourite as he looks to retain his points championship. But the racing is only a small part of what will be a terrific day out, with lots of surprises and star attractions, including one of the biggest firework displays in the Midlands, a tug-of-war competition, and a caravan being blown to smithereens during the course of a first-class family day out. Saturday the 10th sees the 10th annual Central League Grand Final for the Brisker Formula 2 stock cars. Will Chris Bradbury take yet another Wheels title win, or will Nigel Green finally take the title that has so far eluded him on his favourite track? Mike Green, Lee Dimmick and Richard Bowie will be the other favourites for success, while alongside the twos, the National Hot Rods contest their last meeting of 2012, and the Lightning Rods race in support with world champion Frankie Cunningham set to head the entry. Northampton season closes the following day with the second staging of the Tim Day Memorial for National Bangers. This was one of the highlights of last year's banger calendar with a large number of stars of the past racing in memory of Dim Tim, including a huge number of his former Motley Crew teammates. Two classes of cars will be in action, Unlimited and two litre non Mondeo, and hopes are high for a similar turnout to last year in both quantity and quality. Support comes from the UK Oval Track legend in their last meeting of the year as they contest the Golden Helmet Championship. The Brisker season reaches its climax at Birmingham on the 17th with the ever-entertaining Gala Night. This is often the chance to see the big guns of Brisker Formula 1 stock cars mixing it with some new names and wild cards at this special end-of-season party event. Witness Mick Harris's successful comeback at last year's meet. The Formula 2s, meanwhile, contest their second shootout final with hopes of matching the brutal 2011 affair for action. And the National Mini Stocks make another welcome visit to Wheels to close out their season. The following day, eight of Inca Race's top national banger racers make the trip south to Arena Essex, represent their promotion in the ORCI Team Championship. Inca Race have not won this interpromotional competition for many years. Could 2012 finally bring a return to form for the top men from the Midlands? The season closes on the 24th with more banger action at the Champion of Champions at Birmingham. This is the chance to see all the season's title winners from across the UK and beyond out together on a single grid for the ultimate test of racing and wrecking skill. The last couple of years have seen around 50 champions on the grid and a triple figure entry of unlimited bangers for Birmingham's biggest night of crash action. Mini stocks race in support on what should be a wonderful occasion to round off 2012 here at Incarace.